Hello, I will show you Shaka or the Zulus. I will tell you about the top four victory conditions I'd recommend if you were to play as him. I'll also tell you about his two unique units alongside the social policies I'd recommend if you were to play as him. So, he will have Iklawa, which means melee units cost 50% less maintenance. All units require 25% less experience to earn their next promotion, which is huge because this guy is all about being a dominant force. Um, again, I mean, melee units cost 50% less maintenance. You can pretty much have an entire landscape filled with melee units. Um, and then also, the 25% less experience to earn their next promotion is huge. I mean, these guys are a force to be rec reckoned with. I mean, if you have all the barracks and, well, in this case, you, I should say the condas and other things that increase your experience for your units, they will be really, really experienced and will take out anybody that cross their path. So, as always, domination is always going to be the number one thing you're going to want to strive for as the Zulus. That is the reason why you're playing these people. There's no other reason why. Um, again, one of the best early game killers is 25% less experience to earn their next promotion. Uh, crazy killing machine. He's good against gunpowder units as well. I highly recommend domination for this guy. I mean, again, you can dominate early on. I mean, he's probably the best you can pick, really. Um, I mean, if you play on a continent that's got everybody on the one landmass, I would just go all out. Just start attacking everybody that you possibly can and uh, just take their capitals. That's all you need to do for a domination victory, as everybody probably already knows. Um, and if you do take smaller cities, just to burn them down. I mean, there's no reason to keep them, really. Um, unless you really needed them. Unless, of course, you go for number two, which is science. Uh, you'll gain a lot of land here. Obviously, you'll probably want to choose the liberty social policy to make sure that you expand quite rapidly. Have tons of cities. Have tons of cities to pump out the uh, military units. And with that, again, you'll have 50% less maintenance on those guys. Um, and then also, with all those cities that you round up, You'll get tons of science, and with that science, you can win a scientific victory. Not only that, but you can be very smarter than everybody else, and have advanced units, and knock them out with domination. And then the third one, which I do not recommend, there's no personality bonus towards a cultural victory, so don't really strive for a cultural victory. Now, I think it's possible, but I would not recommend this one. There's no reason to stay small. Expansion is key for these guys. They've built the lore. Louvre. Awesome. You have it now because you've taken over their city. That's how you should take, think of things. If anybody's built in the wonder and you said, Damn, I really wanted that wonder. Your mentality should be, you know what? I'm going to go get that wonder by taking their city over. Um, and then lastly, diplo diplomacy is terrible. I mean, there's no personality bonus towards There's no reason to be friendly. This isn't recommended. The only reason why anybody would want to be diplomatic with you is because you won't stop on their ass. So... Uh, yeah, don't strive towards diplomacy. Again, anything's possible, but not a very good idea to do that. Um, so, now I will show you the Impi and the Ikanda. So the Impi will cost you 90 production or 180 faith. He is a melee unit. He's got a combat strength of 16 and a movement of 2. His two abilities will be bonus of his mounted units. And he also has a spear throw. So, obviously fighting cavalry. Um, if you're fighting anything that's mounted, you will absolutely tear them apart with this unit. Uh, and then spear throw means before engaging in melee, this unit's unit has an extra attack. Essentially meaning that you get to hit them twice. So it's extremely useful to have. Um, and his other unit, or I should say unique building, will be the Akanda. It is his unique barracks replacement. Costs you 75 production. It's got a 1 gold maintenance, just like the barracks would. And it grants unique promotions to pre-gun powder, powder me melee units. So essentially that just means that your melee units or any of your units that's built in a city with a conda means that, so what if they got gunpowder? Who cares? Because you can devastate them just like anybody else. So it helps you out greatly if you face that unfortunate fate of somebody having better technology than you. So now I will show you the social policies I'd recommend if you were to play as the Zulus. Before I show you any social policies I'd recommend, I will talk to you about the Zulu starting bias. 
Now sometimes you will be in the desert, you will be near sugar stuff usually, you will be near grassland for the most part, hills and forests, um, but things that you may encounter is desert as you can see over here, but generally you won't see too much of that, so you're more or less a temperate to um, jungle kind of climate. And so, now I will show you the social policies I recommend if you were to play as the Zulus. So, obviously, I would say, so it would be liberty. And adopting liberty means that you will have a worker. He'll work 25% near faster. You also get a free settler. And then the settlers you can also build quicker. You'll get a golden age. You also get a great person of your choice, which I would recommend having a great general because great general early on plus liberty and all those settlers and whatnot well that one settler and one worker I should say will be very helpful towards you because you can dominate even faster even quicker and that's something that you definitely want to do again if you're playing Zulus Shaka you're gonna want to be going for a domination or to a lesser extent scientific victory do not play this person to go for a cultural or a diplomatic victory because I don't know why you're doing that anyhow Please rate, subscribe, and comment, and please check out my other Brave New World, uh, thing.